Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's C Chronicles here today with another fragrance review. Today we have this girl who's been around the block for a while, Hot Couture by Givenchy. And you can see I have used this quite a lot. This used to be my signature scent for many, many years. This is not my first bottle. This is maybe my fourth or fifth. I love, love this fragrance. Um, speaking about the notes, there's citrus, there's a bit of herbs in here, uh, magnolia, it's woodsy, there's raspberry, yes, creamy raspberry, there's musk, nutmeg, it's beautiful, it's, it, um, this one is just one of those, you know, when I spray them, when I spray this perfume, rather, a lot of people, you know, either comment on it, because, it's one that makes an intro before you do. You know, it's the first spritz, it's in your face. You know, it's in your in your face. So if you want to try this one, you have to, if, if you don't like loud scents, just give it a while to settle because the dry down is beautiful and you can smell it even days after. You know, Givenchy did a good job on this one. It's an oldie. It's been a, around for a while. You know, um, I remember buying my first bottle more than 10 years ago. It's been a, around the block for a while. But this one is not going to go, you know, away just like that. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that I feel, you know, there, there aren't many people out there giving it, you know, a lot of... Um, um, I don't know what to say, raving about it, if you will, because to me, it's beautiful. It's a cocktail of fruit. It's, there's herbs in there. It's, it's lovely. It makes a statement before you do. You can wear this for a night out. Um, you can wear it summer, winter. You know, it's, it's that sort of scent that is a good signature scent. If you will, like I said, I had... I was using this as a signature scent for a while, but it's not the type that you... I've never layered it with anything because I feel there's a lot going on, you know, with it on its own. To layer it, I don't know how it would come across because on its own, it's just beautiful. It smells expensive. It's sophisticated. And it, it it's just one of those perfumes that, like I said, when I spray, it's not... On the offensive side but I guess some people can say it's too much I don't know because um, I even feel that a certain kind of men can pull this off I'm not saying it's unisex but it's it's that kind of fragrance that you know for men who appreciate women fragrances they can actually wear this um, but not too much of it because it's got that kick it's the herbs it's the magnolia it's the sandalwood the ember Everything fused together. It's beautiful. I can't say enough about this fragrance. I love it. I love it. I love it. The bottle is buttered. It's not my first. It's my fourth or something like that. But this is just a fragrance that I keep going to. It's a fragrance that I must have in my collection at any given time. So thank you very much again, guys, for joining me. I hope if you um, have never tried this, you may want to try it. Uh, this is just my personal view. Uh, it's not a paid promotion or anything. If you like the sweet, citrusy um, fragrance, the one, it's not too of ordinary. Um, it's in a class of its own. You, you can try hot, hot Couture if you've already used it. Maybe you can leave a comment and tell me what you think about it. To me, it's a prized possession because I really, really love it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, do Follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles. Subscribe on this channel. Like, comment, share. And if you do have recommendations of uh, perfumes, let me know in the comment section. Um, if you have perfumes that you'd want me to review, if they're within my reach, I'll do that. You can leave that again in the comment section. And ladies and gentlemen, remember, smelling good is a form of good manners. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.